Hello, in this video we will talk about alignment and distribution. We will go through the following topics. First, how to install our quick access toolbar, alignment and distribution tools, alignment to the slide frame, alignment of shapes, and finally equal distribution, which is part of the whole spacing topic. So what is our quick access toolbar and how you can get it? So this bar is in here. And it is very helpful tool because it provides you with all most frequently used uh, settings. So you do not have to go through all kinds of steps and search for them, but they are just here accessible only one click away from you. The way how you can get this quick access toolbar is very simple. You just need to go to our nomoreplatform.com webpage. You need to click on the help button, which takes you to our help desk with uh, all kinds of um, helpful articles. You need to go to resources category and then to our PowerPoint quick access bar article. And this article contains the video tutorial for how you can install this bar. And as well in here, you can download the bar itself. Now you have our quick access toolbar. We can talk about alignment and distribution tools. So these are the main alignment and distribution tools. You can see first six ones are alignment tools and last two ones are distribution tools. In here you can see what they do, but you can also find out about that very simply just by putting your arrow on top of the function and it will pop up basically what the tool does. We will also showcase more um, detailed how these tools work. But before that, we will also show you a few tips and tricks for how you can make your alignments easier. So first tip is usage of smart guides. Smart guides are these uh, guides that uh, appear themselves when you are moving some shapes and they show you if your shapes are aligned or equally distributed. You can get this uh, uh, guide tool very easily just by clicking on the view and on this small arrow. And in here, you just need to make sure that this is ticked in and then press OK. Another helpful tip is uh, usage of these two shortcuts. So first one is when you copy some object, you can simply press Ctrl and Shift at the same time, and then you can copy the object and it will stay aligned. Uh, and as well, if you don't want to copy object, but just move some object, you can as well press Shift and it will keep you aligned. Uh, it, will doesn't, it will not allow you to move kind of out of align. Now let's take a look how alignment and distribution tools work. So firstly, when I'm not clicked in any shape, you can see that they are kind of deactivated. But once I click to some shape, they become colorful and now you can use them. If you only click into one shape, uh, the way it works is that your kind of alignment element will be the slide itself. So uh, when I want to align this shape to left, it will align to the slide itself because I didn't uh, select any other shape that I want to align to. So then it orients based on the slide. If I want to align this shape towards this shape, I need to click on both of them and then they are aligning to each other. So you can kind of just play around with this and figure out how it works. As well, you can work with as many shapes as you want at the same time. So you just need to mark all the shapes that you want to align and then just choose the function that you want or the distribution function, for example, distribute them vertically. I really recommend to just playing around with these tools to see yourself how to use them, what they do, and become fast in applying them. Now let's take a look at how to align objects to the slide frame. So as you can see in here, we have here multiple boxes and there are some alignment issues. So the first one actually seems to be pretty well aligned, but let's take a look. Yeah, it actually is pretty well aligned, but sometimes we can see just these small uh, misalignments from slide frame, for example, this top part. And now also the left part would not be correct because it slightly just uh, maybe a pixel uh, overflows outside of the slide frame. So you need to be careful about these kind of very small misalignments. Of course, when there is something like this, it's much more visible, but uh, yeah, it's usually these really tiny misalignments that we meet with. So you need to be careful about those. And in here, we can also see that the shape is not aligned to the slide frame because there is this gap. So let's take a look at the way how we can align shapes to the slide frame very easily. So usually when you open the guideline file, there is uh, some box called slide frame. And uh, this box is very useful for you because you can just copy it, insert it in the template that you work with. And then you can simply align shapes to this slide frame box. And that way, make sure that they are consistent throughout all the slides because you will work with the same slide frame box. So you just select the shape that you want to align to the slide frame and then you just simply align it to it and now we can also select the other shapes and slide frame and align it to the left this one to the bottom and we can distribute them vertically so now it's perfectly aligned to the slide frame of course if this would be all we have in the slide as you know the shapes need to be aligned to all four sides 
Therefore, this would be perfect alignment of all objects to all uh, four sides, which means top, bottom, and left and right side. Here we will showcase how to rather fastly align all of the objects to the slide frame at the same time. But this method has a few things you need to be careful about. So first one is icons and second is like circles. So it's all objects that can get stretched and then do not look good. So I will, I will mark all the shapes in here and I will group them. But before grouping, I will unselect all the icons because you never want your icons to get stretched in any way. Therefore, you will put them back to the uh, circles later on. And now I'll just group the rest of the elements. And uh, now I can align all the elements to the top and to the left side. You can put icons for you temporarily outside of the slide and then um, play with them later on. And uh, you can see that I'm missing all of this space in here that I need to fill with these shapes. So slide frame has certain size that you can see if you go to shape format and in here you can see the width and height of the slide frame and you can simply apply these measurements to this group that we have uh, grouped and obviously it needs to have the same measurements as our slide frame so when you click on slide frame you can simply click it uh, you can copy its width and apply it to this group and you will do the same with the height And this way, you fit it, this group perfectly into the slide frame and uh, yeah, you fill the slide frame fully. What is uh, very important is that you need to then check all the circles because they might get slightly stretched. Therefore, you need to adjust them. As you can see, just a little bit, uh, they got stretched. They are more tall than wide. So this always needs to be the same. All circles need to be same width and height. And after your slide will be perfect, you can return the icons back to the circles and make sure that they are perfectly uh, centered in the circle itself. Now let's move to alignment of shapes. So as you can see in here, I have different shapes and I can simply align them to the left, but they are not really aligned on the other side because they are different size. So shapes need to always be consistent uh, size so they can be aligned. So in this case, I would need to manage their width. I can just override it to some uh, number so then all of them will be that same number and then just adjust them based on what i need i can do the same with the height and then i can just distribute them and now i have aligned and distributed shapes you can also sometimes uh, use method of doing it from the scratch because sometimes it's easier with some kind of like table like structures and so on to just build it from the scratch and then you can use the control shift uh, tool to copy the shape and make sure that it's aligned. And then you can just simply distribute the shapes. And then you can maybe group them and copy, copy the whole grouped uh, object. And this way you can create tables and similar. There are two very different aspects of alignment of shapes. So first one, as we already said, is the same size of shapes. So let's take a look uh, at size of this shape. So it is eight centimeters wide and 2.2 centimeters uh, tall. And uh, to make sure that all other shapes are consistent and aligned, they should have the same size. If you click on some other shape, it should show the same numbers, but you can see, for example, this uh, width is now blank because these two boxes are not same width. So now you can just see that this box is 8.02 and this one is eight. So you can just simply overwrite this to the same size but let's take a look at more rare case, but it happens. So if I click into this shape, it shows eight centimeters and it's the same in here and here. But if I click all of them, you can see that really they don't have same width. So why is this showing to me when this box was really eight as well? And that is because PowerPoint is only able to show after decimal point uh, hundreds. So it means when I, for example, write here 2.222 and press enter, it will show me only only hundreds, it can't show the thousands. So therefore we are not able to see what is after. So this shape might uh, have measurement, for example, 8.001, but this is something that is not visible to me. Therefore, if you see something like this, you then need to overwrite the width and that way make sure that they are really all three same size because now it shows the, the same number for all of them when they are all three marked. Another thing is that uh, in structures like this, where we have some outline shapes, we have to make sure that they have same thickness of outline. So as you can see in here, uh, there are small, small misalignments and I will check the size of the shapes. I will make sure they are same. 
let's see now, they are the same, same width, but anyway, as you can see, it is misaligned. And this happens because this shape has the outline, but I believe this one does not have any. So you need to click into both boxes and make sure they both have same outline and outline of the same width. So now you can see, since both uh, boxes have the same outline thickness, they are perfectly aligned. One more useful trick regarding the shape format size is also good to check your lines because the uh, line usually needs to have either height or width. Uh, one of them needs to be zero to make it perfectly straight line. So in this case, you need to make it zero to make sure that your line is really straight. It uh, might also help with the overall look of the slide uh, because even if your lines are kind of aligned, if they are not really straight, they are not really looking aligned. Now let's see one more alignment example. So as you can see at this slide, sometimes misalignments are not that obvious, but if we go to presentation mode, we can see that the shapes are not really aligned in here as well. There seems some issues in here. Icons is, icon is not centered uh, perfectly to the circle and possibly this circle is also not centered to the shapes itself. So um, I highly recommend to always recheck your slides in the presentation mode. It is very helpful to spot some small misalignments. And now let's see how we can fix these misalignments. So again, we can go to the shape format and see that width of these elements is not the same. So I believe that will be the issue. So the top and bottom box have the same width, but this one does not. Therefore, we will change it to 0 0.06. And now it's aligned. As you can see, it is aligned because generally when we are resizing the shapes, they are um, growing kind of to the right and also to the bottom. So uh, if we would take a look at another at another misaligned box, which is this one, I will just pick this one, so it was 6.06. 6 this one is also not 6.06 .06 as these shapes, but if I will fix it, it will still be misaligned because as we said it grew to the to the right side so now i need to mark these shapes and align them to the left and now it's perfectly aligned now as well we mentioned this icon that needs to be centered or put to the middle that's correct and now possibly these two objects also don't seem to be perfectly aligned in the center of this box so we can mark them both and just align to the center so now the slide should be perfectly aligned now let's take a look at last final topic, which is equal distribution or spacing. So in here we have example of three boxes. You can see they are not equally distributed because the gaps between them are different. So if I would copy them and press uh, distribute horizontally, you can see they moved and now these gaps are equal. So this is equal distribution, this is not. Now how to make sure that your boxes are equally distributed and that the gaps are equal both horizontally and vertically. So let's say we have this shape and now we want to create some kind of table structure. So we can distribute them uh, horizontally and then we will also align them to the top. And here we have equal gaps. Now we can group this object and by control shift I will copy this object and now I have the second row. But now I need to make sure that this gap and this gap are the same. So for this, what we do is use some kind of helping shape. For example, like this one, you can just uh, you can just take this kind of shape and make sure that you fill the gap. So you can see how big this gap is. Now you can copy this shape and you can just rotate it. And this gap then needs to be the same. So then you can just uh, align uh, this shape to the yellow shape basically. Just make sure that it's uh, the same the gap and this way you can make sure that you are making equal gaps between the shapes you can copy more of them also then when once you have already few examples your smart guys are as well showing you some equal spacing you can see it currently on the right side so that's also something that can help you help you to equally space your boxes so this is the way how we would uh, go about equal distribution and spacing so all the gaps needs to be equal in the slide now let's take a look at final recap of the best practices. So install our quick access toolbar if you find it also helpful. We believe it would really speed up your work and make it more efficient. Work efficiently using alignment and distribution tools. Make sure your elements are pixel perfect aligned to slide frame and slides are consistent throughout all slides you work on. 
make sure your shapes are perfectly aligned, they have consistent size and thickness of outline if applicable, make sure your icons or other elements are well centered in the shapes, make sure shapes are evenly distributed horizontally and vertically with equal gaps, and check your slides in presentation mode. Thank you very much for watching.